As we take a look at this last model in which we can see the final place where air is exchanged, we can begin with some bronchioles. As you can see, these bronchioles still contain some cartilage, and as it branches and starts losing its cartilage, then we become what we call the terminal bronchiole. The terminal bronchiole will, of course, branch into smaller, even smaller respiratory, respiratory bronchioles, and that marks the end of what we call the conductive type of respiratory, respiratory tract. You we'll move on to the respiratory side where we will actually exchange the gases. As we continue to move through, what we'll find it goes ter terminal bronchial, bronchial to terminal bronchial to respiratory bronchioles. Respiratory bronchioles will then end into a very large alveolar duct and that you can see this kind of duct here that kind of extends into this little small sac of alveoli and then each individual little dot here or bubble is considered an alveoli. Uh, the substance here at the alveoli was that it contains simple squamous epithelium some macrophages and some other cells that was produce surfactant. You can see all these different branches, multiple places where lots of capillaries will go uh, to be able to absorb all that oxygen. But again, re reviewing, we got the bronchioles that turn into terminal bronchioles, that turn into respiratory bronchioles, which are not really shown here, into alveolar ducts, into alveolar sacs, and then ultimately into one individual alveoli.